Hey Taylor, so thank you for letting me interview you today. Hi, yeah, of course. So what did you do this weekend? Um, this weekend we actually had a Greek um, discovery day. So oh, cool. basically it's an event throughout all the Greek neighborhood and houses that we put on um, for incoming seniors in, for the university um, to see if they wanted to know more about Greek life. Okay. At OSU. So the seniors just come and like hang out or like what so tell me like um yeah so basically the uh they sign up through um greek life and panhellenic um through osu and what they do is they go around and they're divided up into groups individually and they go to each of the houses and kind of have like a mock recruitment kind of thing um mm -hmm. where they go get to have the opportunity to speak to each of the girls in okay. the houses so how do they um how do they separate the girls into groups um i not quite sure, actually. I believe it's alphabetically. Okay. Um, or regionally. Um, okay. But yeah, there's, I think, like, maybe 45 people in a group. Okay. Um, and there's, like, maybe 15, 20 groups, I believe. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of girls that get there just, like, coming to learn about sorority life. Yeah, there's quite a few. Okay. So do are all of those girls here um, coming to Oklahoma State in the fall? Um, most of them are. Not all of them have fully decided or have been accepted. Most of them have been accepted and know that they're coming to OSU in the fall. Okay, so do y'all spend all day talking to these girls or what, um, who talks the most to them? Part, yes, uh, typically it's the freshmen in the sorority houses that do most of the talking okay. to the new, we call them PNMs, which is pot potential new members. Okay. Um, basically what we do is we have kind of like a lineup thing for our freshmen um, and then there's some sophomores spread in there too um, to talk to the freshmen about like Greek life at OSU, OSU in general, um, what Greek life is for some of them that don't even know or have a clue of what it is. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we just line up and pair them off one by one and they go into the houses and talk to the girls of the house. Okay, cool. That's really fun. So every single house does it? Yes, every single house does it. Um, all house, like actual sorties that have a house on campus. Okay. Um, Participate. Okay, so all of these girls, all these potential new members just mm -hmm. get outside the house and then just walk in and get to talk to all the girls? No, it's a little more complicated okay. than that, actually. <laughs> um, so what they do is they'll line up alphabetically within their group um, and wait outside the house. And then all of the sorties will actually line up inside of their house, out mm -hmm. front of the door, and they sing a song. Okay. So um, each sortie has their own different kind of song. And then they change it for Greek Discovery Day. They change it to like a OSU positive Okay. Um, song, because we can't typically, because that's called recruiting, if you um, influence their decision in any way of their house. Mm -hmm. um, so we had to change all the lyrics to go Greek and go OSU mm -hmm. type of lyrics for the girls. Um, okay. So what we sing, and then we continue singing, and all the girls will come in one by one and line up with one of our girls and match up and then go sit and have a conversation oh, in so the living room or dining room or whatever house has them set up as. Okay, so was this your first year doing Greek Discovery Day? No, it was actually my second year. Um, oh, wow. I did it as a freshman last year, okay. and then um, I did it this year as a sophomore. Oh, wow. So um, since you were here as a freshman, um, was it, like, how different was it last year than it was this year because um, you've done it for so long? I would say last year I definitely talked a lot more to, to the girls. We have what we okay. call parties, which is every kind of round mm -hmm. for the group of girls that come in, and I talked every party last year, okay. and this year I only talked one time just because mm -hmm. we give the freshmen an opportunity to talk to the okay. girls, and it's kind of a practice round, if you will, for okay. our actual recruitment, which happens in the fall. Cool. Okay, so it's just like a mini recruitment, but... Basically, rush, yeah. Rush OSU instead of Rush Greek. Right, right exactly. Okay, awesome. So um, how would you say Greek or Greek Discovery Day affects recruitment in the fall? I would say it definitely, I would hope at least, gives out a positive vibe for the girls that are coming through mm -hmm. and definitely encourage them to come and do recruitment okay. in the fall. Um, it gives them kind of a taste of what Greek life is going to be and any kind of information about Greek, excuse me, about Greek life that they had not known before okay. or if they were kind of interested in it but didn't really know too much um, or just kind of wanted to come see what it was about and they may cool. not decide to come rush in the fall or they could completely change their mind and they are so excited to come rush in the fall. That's really cool so they can just come and like ask whatever questions they have without getting judged or yeah, getting absolutely. Like, like literally judged to see yeah. if they'll be in the sorority or not. Yeah, okay. we can't do any sort of judgment on the girls when it comes to what their typical opinions are. We don't write down their names or anything. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, so it's just like really unaffiliated. It's really unaffiliated. And it's basically for them to get a feel about Greek life, not us trying to get a feel for them, if that makes okay, sense. Okay, awesome. So um, how, do boys do the same thing? Boys do have a discovery day. It's a little bit different from the girls. Okay. Um, same thing. They kind of go on, around in groups. 
um, and they go to each fraternity house, okay. and the fraternities put on, like, a cookout or whatever the event may be going on that they have at their house, and they get to go in and look at the houses and mm -hmm. talk to the guys, and it's a lot less, um, it's very informal compared to okay. how we do it. Um, but basically, it's on the same day, same time. They cool. kind of go through and look at, have an opportunity to go to each of the houses as well. That's cool that boys get to have their own groups and like ask their questions mm -hmm. too, but like such, so do girls. Right. Okay, well, thank you for talking to me today, Taylor. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much.